Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Lauren. So we're here with blushes. I have most of my single blushes out here, I still have a few more. Today's declutter is going to be the beginning of declutter, I'm not gonna call it declutter week, but my declutter series that I'm doing. And obviously we're starting off with blushes, we're talking cream blushes, powder blushes, face palettes, and bronzers, I'm fitting that all into this video, so it's gonna be a long one. I'm kind of giving you a little preview here. I'm so excited to go through these. I really don't wanna give a ton of disclaimers, but I will be decluttering things. Kind of my mindset going into this is just wanting to love and enjoy what I have. Since I do makeup YouTube, I tend to get a lot of stuff, even with trying to be more conscious about what I am buying. And so it makes sense for me to kind of clean things out, pass things along that aren't getting enough use. And just so you guys know, if I can, I always try to pass things on and throw out as little as possible. So I think that's going to be it. Yeah, let's get into it. It's going to be a long one, so just strap in. All right, so I've zoomed us in, and I first wanna talk about blushes that I got most recently that I know I'm going to be keeping. And we're starting off with single powder blushes, just so you know, so that's like this first round. I have two blushes by Patrick Ta that are just beautiful. I love them. This one is She's Adorable, and then this one is She's Seductive, and they're just such pretty everyday type blushes for me. I really love how I can build these up if I really want to, but I don't find that they're like overpowering. They have like a semi like a demi finish, I guess is a good way to put it. So they're not super shimmery, but they're definitely not like a flat powdery matte. And so I've just gotten a lot of um, use out of these recently. I'm really glad I kind of splurged and uh, got these. I did get them on a sale naturally, but you know, I'm very happy with these blushes and these make me super excited to use in my collection. So I definitely am gonna keep those. I really like them. Next, let's talk about these kimchi chic blushes. I got these during Black Friday last year. I was excited to try out kimchi kimchi chic beauty in general. Um, and so I went with two different blushes. This is the shade 02. I love how like bright and fun that blush is. And then this one's more neutral and this one's 06 vacation. Surprisingly, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now I really like this side of the blush. It's a little bit more neutral and a little bit more brown, but you can see right here compared even to Patrick Ta, these are a lot more pigmented, which is great. Great. like depending on what your preference is in a blush, that might be what you want, but I, it's not my preference, honestly. I like something that I can kind of build up maybe to this opacity, but I don't necessarily want that off the bat. And really more than anything, I thought that it was gonna be more brown, and I think it, it looks that way, like, <laughs> It looks like it's gonna be brown, but really there's a lot of pink to this. So every time I use it, at least on my skin tone, it always turns more pink than I want and I'd rather it be more peachy. I'd rather it be more brown. So this one is going to actually leave and I, I'm sure someone else can get some great use out of it. As for this bright one, I'm gonna keep this. I don't feel like I have tons and tons of bright blushes. You know, I'm not always wearing something so stark. I'll, I'll try to swatch it just on the side here. So. I feel like the pigmented formula on this, I'm totally fine with because, you know, if I'm going for something like this, I'm probably like going for it. So I'm gonna keep that. And I do feel like out of colorful blushes, although I have tones similar, I do think these are different enough to keep. So that one I will keep. I have two blushes here from Ciate London. This one's just a little sample. It's called Date Night. And it's one of those ones that's kind of like shimmery. And I really like that. Like this is my, <laughs> you see how it barely shows up. That's what I like because on the face, everything is a lot more, like anything subtle tends to not be as subtle on the face, you know? So I definitely like this one. I do wanna swatch the other one. This is called Burnt, and I think that's a really apt description of this blush because when I wear this, it does give me kind of a sunburn look, and I don't always love that, but I think it's so interesting. It's kind of like this windswept look as well, so I feel like during winter and stuff, it's really pretty, kind of like the tip of the nose getting red type of thing. So I think I'm actually gonna keep both of these. I mean, this is so tiny, but I do love little sample sizes like this because I love that they're compact and small, but also it's not like an excess amount of product since we all know it takes forever to go through a blush. I feel like I'm at like a weird zoom in. So let's just zoom in a little bit more. Next, this is a blush from Tarte. It's just the Tartlet one. This is in my project pan. So I am going to be keeping this at least for now. It's definitely older. I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna get something to <laughs> show up and I really don't wanna make my blush have hard pan, but 
it's a very subtle blush on me, but it does show up. I think this is a, a really good example of one of those blushes that looks like nothing, but then on the face actually shows up on me. So that I'm keeping for now. Hopefully I can make some more pan in it. Let's talk about a few other older blushes. I have all my Clinique blushes here. This is one of my favorite blush formulas. I do love these. They're, they're just great. I've destroyed, absolutely destroyed nude pop. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, although it's old, it's just like my go-to and I love how it doesn't have a lot of pink in it. And this is what I was hoping that kimchi one to be at least more brown. So that I'm definitely keeping. I'm also definitely going to keep fig pop. This one is a really nice kind of more burnt, almost red color to nude. Um, and I, I really like this one as well. This one was a gift for my friend Hannah who decluttered it and I'm so happy. This one's another one I'm going to keep too. I use plum pop a lot for how, you know, pink it is. I just love the formulation because this is one that I could wear sheared out. Back to the kimchi blush. That one's so pigmented and is gonna give you a nice punch and pop of color. But this one I can be a little bit more subtle with and I like that because I can do hot pink and it not be like the main star of the show. So I'm definitely keeping that. The one I've been kind of contemplating to get rid of is this one. Um, it's peach pop. And I think the reason I'm questioning that is because I find this peach is very very pink. It's not a very orange peach. And I do love a peachy blush. I love those kind of coral colors. And so I feel like in my collection, I have other things I tend to reach for. So I think even though I love the formula, I'm not going to keep a shade that I never reach for. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I think that's really a good decision because these three I'm telling you, I use all the time. This one, I just kind of like have. It's like, oh, well you match, so keep you, but that one's gonna go. I have some other newer blushes here. These are from Kosa and I have, what are these? This one's Contra Chroma. And then this one is Papaya 1972. So they're both quite neutral. I mean, you can really see how neutral this one is. And I love this one. I, I thought at first like, oh, it's too brown or I even thought maybe it could be a contour type thing. But this is a really good example of like a, a blonzer or whatever, you know, it's like, it's kind of brown on me, but it still looks like a blush on my cheek. So I definitely wanna keep this one. The papaya one, I do also like. It's a little bit powdery, but again, like I do like the colors and like the tones of the colors. I think they're really natural. This one's still kind of a pop like of color though. So I think I'm still gonna keep testing these out, keep using them, keep enjoying them. I think they're really pretty. I have two more colorful blushes here. This is the Pretty Vulgar blush in Prim Vixen. This has been one that I, I've loved for a long time. I do wanna kind of see it compared to the kimchi. They're just like slightly different, but I'm kind of thinking, let's just swatch them. Oh, it's just, it's a very soft powder. So that's the Prim Vixen and kimchi is that one. So definitely different. I think though, if I'm ever gonna go this bright, I'm probably gonna go with kimchi. So I think it's time. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just like, I can't, I, I, I don't know. I just don't need that many hot pink blushes. I'm trying to make room. And also by having two choices, I'm using each of these less instead of using one of them more. You know what I mean? So it's time to get rid of this uh, pretty vulgar. Time to go. The other one here, I didn't even get to show you yet. This is from Fenty. Whoa. This is uh, one of the duo blushes and I've wanted this for so long. It's Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. Look how pretty this is. I love the um, like kind of sheen that this gives. Look at how interesting of a color. Oh, I love it. I used this on an eye look recently and then tapped like a shimmery shade over everything and I loved the way it turned out. I think this one's a really nice one. I really love this kind of shimmery but not like sparkly and I think that's such a pretty formula for multi-use. So I do like using this on like the eyes, the cheeks, blush draping, all that. It inspires me and I'm excited to continue using it. So that I'm going to keep. I thought I would just show you the comparison of these two really fast also because they're both like pink and orange. One is more purpley and like yellow orange and this one's more of like a hot pink with like a, a red hot orange, I don't know. Definitely different enough for me. And also these are matte, this is shimmer. We have a few more oldies, but goodies, honestly. Um, I know I'm keeping the Ella Masca because I recently did a video trying this on again and just seeing if I'd like it. And I do. 
it's a unique color to my collection. It's so much more like peach and like a pastel peach, but it's so pretty and it kind of warms up on the cheek and I just love it. Every time I use it, I've had this, it's probably the longest or oldest blush in my collection, but it's still so soft. Formula hasn't changed, like, oh my gosh, it's like crazy. So Lover, I'm keeping. Rockateur, this one's so tough. I love this blush, I really do, um, and I've hit pan on it. And I love the tone and the shimmer. So I think, like, look at how nice this is for a neutral blush. It doesn't have a lot of pink in it. I love the shimmer on it. And so this is an example too of like, even though it's old, I'm gonna keep that around. It's such a go-to easy blush for me. So I'm still keeping that one. I have two blushes from the brand Vivid. I got these off of Yes Style. This is the shade Crossover. You can see a little bit of hard pan cause I literally put my wet sponge in it. Why'd I do that? I don't know. And then this one's called Mellow Rhythm. And I really enjoy actually both these. I think Crossover's honestly my favorite for every day. It's a little hard pan. I know it's kind of, let me just scratch them off so you can get a, a swatch going. I love this. The sheen on these is really nice. And this is an example of one of those blushes too that you kind of build up. And I like that. Like I like the act of like dipping my blush brush in the powder multiple times, kind of building up that color. Mellow Rhythm actually though, it's just a little light and peachy and I just, I don't love it as much. I'm actually gonna get rid of that. I wasn't expecting to do that, but I'm just swatching it out and that's part of the reason I wanted to swatch things. It's just not for me. It's not for me. Yeah, okay, keeping crossover. I'm sure you've noticed like I've kept a lot of similar colors, but I'm totally fine with doing that. When it comes to blush, I tend to overall reach for the same colors because that's what I like on my skin tone and I find blush to be overall a very neutral thing and I do more fun stuff with the eyes, so I'm fine with having different options that are similar. Okay, this was actually used to be in my highlighter drawer, but I thought I would try it in the blush drawer because it's a duo. This is the blush lighter from Wet n Wild and so it does have this highlighting side, but I think that I might get more use out of this if I put it in in with the blushes because the highlighter is a little deep for me. And so I think together they'd be just so pretty to kind of top stuff and I don't know, I think it's, these are really nice. Just so you guys know, this is the shade I met someone. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna see if I get more use out of it being in my blush. Okay, I have a few more things. This is a little bit different. So I have some single blushes here. These are from Sydney Grace. They're really nice. The quality is great. I got these in grab bags um, that they do during I don't know when their sale is, I think July. So this is the, the blush stiletto. It came in the cooler bag. Um, and again, like quality is really great. I have no problems. I think though, I just don't get enough use out of these. And I feel like my Patrick Ta, I have like a cooler one and I have like a lighter. Oh my God, they're so good though. They really are an amazing formula. I think Sydney Grace products literally are so underrated. I don't know. I like, I thought I was gonna get rid of these, but I'm like, Maybe I should keep them. But I just don't use the, f I, I've learned that I definitely don't use this format very much. Like this doesn't excite me to use in the pan. So I think I hate to do it, but it's the reality is I don't use these. So I'm gonna pass these on. This peach one is Belle of Georgia and both those I think were like kind of limited for that set the grab bag. I'm just doing things I didn't expect to do. All right, last for singles, I have some blushes from Ofra. These are the newer ride or die, like duo pan blushes. I did a video on their channel, like showing off this collection when it came out. I'll leave it linked if I can remember. A bit of a disclaimer, I work with Ofra quite a bit, either on their social media or whatever. So I will say that I'll probably keep some stuff just so I have their products potentially. If I like hated something, I wouldn't keep it. But yeah, I think though out of these three I, I think I might only keep this blush here and you'll see I'm gonna do face palettes soon I do have a lot of blushes from Ofra in face palettes and I really like that that kind of configuration best so I think I'm gonna pass on both of these colors I tend to not use like this type of pink blush and then this is quite deep for me so yeah I'm gonna keep this one which is crew so I'm keeping crew and passing on the other two okay I think I might have said that was the last one but it wasn't so this this is actually my last blush. This one is from Lancome. I really, I do like this. It's a nice like neutral type shade, but I never reach for it. I think the packaging's a little boring for me maybe. I don't know what it is. And I, t I do have other neutral blushes. Like I have my Clinique and actually like finish that up. So I, ugh, I hate to do it because I'm like, mm, but I just haven't gotten enough use out of this. 
for how long I've had it. So that one I'm also gonna get rid of. All right, so here's kind of an overview of what I'm keeping, which is on this side. And then this is what I'm passing on. I was, I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'm getting rid of nine blushes and I'm keeping 17 uh, singles. So I really like that so far. So I'm very happy with this. And yeah, let's move on to cream blushes. That's gonna be a doozy. All right, we're here with tons of cream blushes. Now, I mean, if you're hip with the times, you know cream blushes are like all the rage right now. So I definitely have quite a few. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna like move everything out the way so we can actually get into some of this stuff and I can give you some swatches and let's talk. First, let's talk about Glossier. I have, I think almost all the Glossier, if not all the Glossier. And I'm gonna keep these because I think they're just a great cream formula, honestly. I'll try to do little swatches but I don't want it to get too out of control. <laughs> this is Dusk and I really like Dusk. That's one of my favorites. I also like Beam. These are probably the two that I like, you know, use, use. So there they are. But then I also have, this is Haze, which is a really beautiful kind of berry. Just so stunning. I actually have a video planned with these too. So just a little tiny sneak peek if you see something. <laughs> Uh, on the channel later, you'll get it. So, oh, just really pretty. And I think like these still inspire me um, and it's like inspires me to not buy other things because I already have these and that's part of what I want as well. So it's like, there's no reason for me to try to convince myself I need a berry cream blush because I have it, you know? I definitely want to keep these. This is a beautiful color. Oh, I love that. I honestly didn't realize it was so neutral from looking at the outside, but it's so stunning. Anyway, that's Storm. There they are swatched out. I mean, those are heavy swatches, but I don't want them to stain, so we gotta get them off. So keeping the Glossier. Something I'm gonna pass on is this color wash. This is from Muse Beauty, and they sent me this. It was so nice of them. I really love the eyeshadow palette, and I don't even like dislike this. I really love the format. I just don't use it enough. They're pretty pigmented, as you can see. It's just not something I'm reaching for enough to have in a cream blush, so this I'm gonna pass on while the creams are still good, while other people can enjoy them. That one's like a stiffer formula as well. I have two of these little milk makeup stick guys. I think these are, this is a full size. I think this is a mini. I got this lip and glow cheek thing in a boxy charm. I think this one I'm gonna pass on just because the color isn't something I'm gonna reach for. It's kind of shimmery, I don't know. I, I was excited to get this initially when I got it in BoxyCharm because I got to try it and I, I'm glad I did get to try it, but that is gonna go and pass on. It's still like relatively new as well. So I know someone can get some good use out of it. This other one, I like the color. I like the formula. It's kind of just a cream, you know? So that one I'm actually gonna keep and I love that it's a mini. It's cute. It's really cute. And it, it has some substance to it without being like too thick. I don't know. I'm excited to continue using this. I think I got this in an Ipsy maybe. I have two things from Fenty here. This is the cream blush in Fenty Glow. I think maybe both these products were specific to a set that came out. I think it's still on sale on Sephora's site. I love this. I like love, love, love this blush. So I'm definitely keeping that one. And then this is more of like the diamond bomb type product where it's just kind of sparkly, but it's in a very similar color as like a top coat. And I just wanna explore this a little bit more. I'm gonna zoom you in a little. If you can see here, it's one of those kind of like putty formulas, you know? So um, yeah, I, I wanna like explore it. It's a really stunning color and I'm not ready to let it go yet. I need to explore it. I definitely love this and I'm like, do I love this? Let's keep trying. So this one gets to make it one more round. This is a newer product to me from Flower Beauty. It's the Blush Balm and I got the shade Cinnamon and I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I can totally understand why everyone loves these. Seriously, they're great. Oh, there's something about them. They feel almost like a really nice serum or something on the skin and they blend out enough, but they also do keep their pigment too, so I love this color and I'm keeping that. Obviously I just got it and I, I like it. Let's look at some Yes Style blushes that I've gotten over time. So these are different ones that I've tried. So first here we have, I think it's Holika Holika, the jelly. I don't like this. I've realized out of cream blushes, I don't love the putty ones. I just don't tend to like that formula. I don't know, I just don't, 
I mean, the color's nice, and it's not even like a bad product. It's just something I've learned because I like to use uh, my sponges and stuff. I just don't. So that's going. Let's do this one next. This is, I think, Holika Holika as well, but it's a cream cheek. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. Um, like lots of product on my finger. I think that this, like, it's just too much. It's too much for me, man. It's like so pigmented. And some people might really like that, but I just don't love it. And also this has like a really strong pink undertone, which I don't love. So that I'm gonna get rid of as well. I definitely like prefer this like serum-y thing over this, you know? And it just, oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's going. Then I have these two blushes from Naming. This is a, a better formula to me. Like it's, it's pigmented and it is a little bit like thicker, but I feel like I can just work with it a little bit more. Jeez. Same with this yellow blush, which is interesting. It's it's still something I play around with and try to like be better at, you know, of like, does yellow blush work? But I think these two I'm gonna keep and I kind of want to compare it right now to the Tower 28 because I feel like formula, this one's maybe a little bit more dewy like it looks dewier, but I feel like formula wise, like the way they feel, this one's more of the matte version of this. So anyway, I'm definitely, I'm gonna keep these two and, and keep trying those. I'm also obviously keeping my Tower 28. I really have enjoyed this. This is the shade Magic Hour and uh, it's great. And it's like slightly more pink. This one's more orange, this one's more pink. Let's talk about these liquid blushes from Ofra. Um, I really like these. Once again, these are from that Ride or Die collection with those duos. I think though, this one I'm gonna get rid of. I just don't, I don't love a blush like that color on me personally. So this one's the lightest one in Authentic. But then we have, I love this one. Um, and it looks light, but I find it kind of like warms up, kind of like the Illamasqua Lover it'll like warm up on my skin and so then it doesn't start looking so um, kind of light or pastel. So this one's Loyal and then this one's Truly, which it has a different formula. It's way more liquidy. I honestly prefer this formula because it has a sheerness to it. It's kind of more like those serum-y blushes. So I'm gonna keep these two and I'm gonna get rid of Authentic. <laughs> can you tell in this video what my blush preferences are? I think you can. <laughs> All right, I have two of these Lila B blushes. These are really, these compacts are cold and heavy and they're so interesting how they open up. Um, I'm gonna be keeping both of these. I most recently got this one. Um, it's like a beautiful like hot red. You can use these on the lips or the cheeks. I'm really excited to try this. This is Be Daring. And then this one is Be Captivating, which is very similar to the Fenty Glow. So depending, it could be a highlighter or for me, it's more of a blush. And I love this for something subtle. So both those I'm gonna keep. And I also think I could actually use this up. Like I'm like trying to think about that because it's not a ton of product. So I'm definitely keeping both of those. I have two more like liquidy cream blushes. So this is the Freck Cheek Slime in Cuff. I do really like this one. I've enjoyed it. I like the way it feels. Um, and then this is a Juicy Pang Blusher, and this is in the shade, I'm not sure. Um, it's more of like a peach. I don't know why I haven't gotten on. I don't know if it's the packaging. Like, I think it's so cute. I wanna love this Juicy Pang so much, but I never, I really never use it. So I think I'm actually, I don't know. I'm gonna give this one more try. I think I'm gonna let myself, maybe I'll collect a few like, let's try this and I'll do one more chopping block video. And so, yeah, I'm gonna put that into the, I'm trying it and then I will make my decision, which I don't wanna do a lot of. Maybe one thing in each category. Yeah, and that's gonna be this right now. I am gonna keep the cheek slime though. I have enjoyed that. It's nice. I wish it was slightly more brown. That's the only thing. It's kind of, it turns kind of pinky peachy on me. And if it had just a drop more brown, I think it'd be beautiful or even more beautiful really. Okay, I have four more to go. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get rid of any of these. So let me tell you why. First, this Emile Cordon. This is like a lip balm or blush and this, I really love for the winter time. It's so emollient because it, it can be a lip balm, but it's such a unique color and I love the way it shears out and leaves almost this kind of like glossy, dewy look on my face. So this I really actually love and I specifically love it for like the winter time when maybe it's a little bit drier or you still want that dew. So this I'm gonna keep, I, I do love it. It's a ton of product and like kind of stupid expensive, but um, they sent it to me. <laughs> 
that's the reason this is here. And uh, I do I do like it for what it is. So I'm keeping that. This is the Dew Wet in Rose Water from Danessa Myricks. This is one I just need to play around with more. It's a similar actual formula where it's like kind of glossy and, and dewy and beautiful. And like I said, I wanna play around more. I wanna like get my thoughts. And I think this would be a good one just every day. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. So that I wanna keep. And then these are both newer as well. And so I feel like I wanna just get my thought. I'm not ready to just like get rid of them to do it. But this is from Kaja. This is one I had my like eye on for so long. It's like so cute and tiny, but I'm honestly not super impressed. I don't know what it is. So let's see. This is the top shade. I mean, it is so beautiful. Maybe I just need to use it more. I'm not sure. Um, and then the bottom one is brighter and they're so pretty. I mean, I do think it's a cute little thing. I love how tiny it is. So this is Juicy Watermelon and I'm going to have that on my list to use kind of like with the Fenty one, like over time, see how much use I'm getting out of them. And then the Kosa one, this is the Oh my gosh. This is the Cream Blush Duo in 8th Muse, which is very different than anything I have in my collection. Let's see if I can swatch this for you. So this color is a lot more uh, sheer and kind of light. And then we have this beautiful kind of berry pink. It's really quite pretty. Um, and I got a really great deal on it. I just wanted to try the formula from them. And so again, yeah, that's why I'm keeping it. So not as much progress I think in this category, but still pretty good. All right, so here is an overview of what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. I'm only decluttering one, two, three, four, five, five, I was gonna say six, five cream blushes. And then I am keeping, I believe 21 cream blushes, like more than I have in powders, which kind of makes sense at the moment based off trends. But yeah, so that's my, my cream blush right now. I feel good about that. Lots of stuff to enjoy, but also explore within my own collection. All right, and now we move into the next category, which is face palettes. I got a lot. I, I actually, I feel like I've talked a lot of shit about face palettes, but I'm into them. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers are in and uh, I like them obviously because I have a lot of them. That being said, I would like to do a decently good job of maybe getting rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> this is everything I have that I call a face palette. I don't know, it has three or more products and usually it's like either all blushes or blushes, bronzers, highlighters. You guys get it. So yeah, let's, let's get into some of these. Oh, they make me so happy. I don't know why they make me so happy, but they do. I think I'm going to start with my newest purchase, which I'm obviously not going to get rid of. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. I got this from a sale and I only paid like 18 bucks. Like what? I feel like for that price, I'm very happy with it. Um, it is quite springy, I would say overall in like the colors that are in here because it's like lighter pinks and Kind of, I mean, that's kind of like a purpley tone. I love this diamond powder here. It's just sparkles. <laughs> it's so pretty as like a topper for eyes as well. These are definitely the tones I would use more for like a springtime look. So should I zoom you in a little more? That I'm going to keep. I just got it. It's really beautiful and it's staying. Other two Natasha Denona palettes, I guess they make sense to go next. I love the bloom. Of course I'm keeping the bloom. I love this. Uh, I love all the colors in it. I mean, look, it's so pretty. So this one I've gotten so much use out of and it's really the reason why I let myself buy other Natasha Denona blush palettes because I loved this one so much. So beautiful. I love like this shade is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So keeping that, the bronze, I bought the bronze because of the, the the bloom. Um, I don't get as much use out of this. And this is one of the reasons I know that I don't love a putty formula because I don't love the putties in here. I mean, this putty, I actually like this color because it's more of like that brownie kind of blush that I can use. But the highlighter in here, I actually don't really like. Um, I love this color. I just don't, I don't know if I'm ready to like let go of it yet, honestly. I want it to work. I did a really beautiful kind of bronzy blush draping look with this before I have a video on it. I just don't know if I'm ready to let it, I should let it go, but I feel like I have to admit to myself that it didn't work to do that and I don't want to, but I don't love this color. This is just harder to use. It's not bad. It's not like I can't. And again, I made such a beautiful bronze look. I wish I could just cut 
this and take these two. <laughs> I wish I could just have these two shades. But I mean, I also would love for someone else to love it. I think for right now, I'm gonna get rid of this. I think that will be the best decision. I probably should make that decision. I just wanna keep these two. <laughs> Anyway, that's gonna go. Wow, didn't expect it, but I'm just being real. Some more face palettes I know can go, unfortunately, because these some of these are newer and some of these I bought. So Pixie by Petra, I got sent this or it was in a boxy charm or something. I don't know. I didn't pay for this in a direct way. I thought I would try it because I was loving the highlighter from Pixie, and I do think the highlighter in here is stunning, but I don't really love anything else. I mean, I don't really love that pink blush. This is actually a pretty color, this kind of bronzery blush thing, but it's just not, nothing in here is good enough to keep this. So this needs to go just tone wise for what I prefer and what I like. No, I'm not gonna keep it, but look how good that highlighter looks swatched. Next, this is the BH Chocolate Orange Truffle. I got this during Black Friday and this is just too similar of like they're the same blush color essentially in here. I don't, what? I knew it was going to be like warmer to, I'm just like, what? It's like the same, it's the same fucking color, right? I mean, it's beautiful. I think that whoever I pass this on to will probably love it. And if you love this color blush, man, you have blush for years, but this is just not what I was, ex I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. They're beautiful. The formula is nice. I like them. Uh, I just don't need a blush palette of this. If I'm gonna use a palette, it's usually I want variety and it's just like, may have a single, like, what? Okay, so that's gonna go, just cause it feels kind of redundant and silly in my collection. And last, this is a harder one for me because I really wanted this from Smashbox. It's part of the holiday collection. I did get it, again, on sale, you know me. Uh, but these are, I didn't know these were like putty blushes. Oh my gosh, you know? So the colors are really pretty. I love the colors. Look at this, like like that's so pretty. But I just know my, I just don't really love that putty formula. I don't, I don't love it. And then even the highlighters, they're just a little too deep for me. I do love something that's maybe, you know, on the brink, but these are both just too much. So just not the right one for me, unfortunately. So uh, I had to try it to know, and now I know that this should be passed on, and I hope someone else can get some really awesome use because it is, like, it's so pretty for the right skin tone, for the right person. I mean, mm, I love it, but not for me. And I don't want it just sitting there in my drawers. Okay, so far for face palettes, we're doing amazing. I'm very happy. Let's talk about these. I have some Sigma stuff. So um, they recently sent me some PR and these I haven't even opened yet. And I think I'm not going to. So this is the blush. Um, I don't know, it's been around for a while, the blush palette. I think I'm gonna just pass this one on because this is the new one, Cora De Rosa, and I really do like this. It's kind of all similar, but at least a little bit more variation from the BH one, and I do wanna try this formula. But let me see if I can open this without ruining the packaging and stuff, because I do like to pass things on unopened if I can, so I try to be very careful. Yeah, I think, Color wise, this one's a little bit more me. So I'm going to pass this one on unopened. And then this one I'm gonna keep, I'm excited. So this is the new one, I'll swatch it out for us. I also just wanna try their blush formula and see. I mean, already more <laughs> color variation than the BH one. <laughs> Ooh, that one has like a shimmer. So that's that blush one. Definitely more neutral, but overall, definitely more my style. So that I'm gonna keep around. Okay, I've kept three blush palettes. That's it so far, or like face palettes, you guys. It's pretty good for me. As for this, I am tempted to keep this. It looks so cute. I think this is part of the holiday collection, but I think I'm not even gonna open it because I don't wanna tempt myself into keeping it. So I think I'm gonna pass that one on and I think it's the best way that this can be used. So that's gonna go. Let's talk about my little Salt New York quad. I have the, where's that bronzer? The bronzer is in its own separate thing right now because I'm panning this, like I wanna use it all the way up. So it's just easier to use when it's not with everything else 
else when I'm trying to like get my sponge and dig it in there. So I'm keeping this, but I do actually, I'm gonna keep the highlighters. I really, I actually really like the highlighters. I think they're really pretty. I've enjoyed using them and I think for summer they'll be great. But the blush, you can kind of see it there. It's like kind of textured. I just don't, I mean, when you warm it up with your finger, it's nice, but I want to use my sponge and it just doesn't work as well. So unfortunately this one, I'm actually going to be getting rid of. It just from the beginning, it kind of always had that texture and it was picking up weird. So that one I'm going to get rid of. And then these will move to my highlighters. I have three Becca palettes here. Let me zoom out. The Becca palettes are some of my favorites. I, I think they do a, a palette well or did really, right? Oh, RIP. So we have the Becca uh, and this is the Chloe collab. Honestly, it's a stunning palette. I really like it. I'm gonna keep it. This is one that I mean, these two blushes could have been more different, honestly. That's like the one complaint I have. But overall, like I can use every single shade in here. It's a perfect one for just like every day or like if you're traveling or, you know, something like that where you need like a to-go bag. This has all of the face products I could need. So this I'm still keeping. Kind of similar to that is the Be The Light. And this one has what I call like a lighter bronzer, a face powder, a little bit of a deeper bronzer and a blush. And so like all of it, works. It looks so plain and boring, but the simplicity of it is what makes it work. And like, I actually use it. So that I'm keeping as well. And then for something a little more fun, the holiday palette, I also really like. I really liked this. Um, this is the collaboration with Barbie Ferreira. And I mean, this is different. This is a definitely different formula. It's more like shimmery. I love it for draping. I am inspired by it. I wish the packaging was a little more simple, honestly, but let's see if I can get this one swatched out here. Okay, I tried to give us some more swatches, but it's just so pretty. I love this one. I really do. Um, I think it's fun, it's inspiring. This is going to stay as well. Even with Becca going out of business, it's not about that. It's about what I like and what I'm using and that is what I like and what I use. Some more palettes. I think I might get rid of all of these. Okay, so let's start with this NARS one. It's so pretty. I'm like tempted to keep this. I got this from Hannah, she decluttered it and I was like, I want that. And it's so pretty. I just need to use it more if I was gonna keep it. I don't know. So those are the highlighters. Get out of here. Stunning. I don't know. I don't know if I can get rid of this. It like inspires me to use it and be bronzed and like love my life, kinda. You know? Those are some like light swatches of the bronzers. It's so pretty. I might keep this still and, and use it. Okay. Oh, ooh, maybe this will be the one like use it and see if you like it for bronzers and highlighters. Okay, the Alomar, I think it's time for me to say goodbye to this. I know that's kind of like sad because there's nothing wrong with this. I like the colors, they're like more orangey. I don't know, I just, I feel like I haven't been using it, wanting it. And then these two colors tend to look very similar on me. I don't know, I'm just, I'm ready I think to pass that one on, yeah. I think I have like single blushes that I could get that more orangey look if I want it. I don't know. It's just not getting the use. And it's not also, when I look at it, I'm not as inspired as I feel like I should be. So I think the right choice is to pass it on. And then this is the Kevin Aquan. I just got this. So I'm kind of sad about not loving it. It's one of those things that it's like, I had to get it to know, but now that I have it, I'm kind of just like, uh not as good as I was hoping. Like they look pretty there, but these duochromes tend to like deepen when they're not showing. And I could use these as eyeshadows, but I honestly have so many beautiful eyeshadows that it's just like, it's just not it. So I wish I didn't buy this. It's defo a regret, but it's gonna go. I mean, this one's so pretty though, but I have eyeshadows. Like the Cleonas are better. So that's gonna go. Last two things here. I have two palettes that are kind of like my own concoctions from Ofra. So I've just used their kind of system of how you can move blushes in and out. And so, yeah, that's what I, I have here. I still, I mean, like I like the Ofra blushes a lot. I think they're really nice. I love this Island Time one. I think it's so pretty and has so many great colors. And then I love the highlighter that's in there as well. So that I think is great. I love this. So definitely keeping the island time. And then when it comes to this one, this is just like a mash of a bunch of stuff. So there are these two like really shiny ones that they did a collab with someone. 
um, that are stunning. Then this is the Samantha March one. Um, and this is also a stunning blush, like so pretty. And then um, this is like, I don't even know which one. A little bit different for me, honestly. It's a little more pink, but I still kind of, I still like it. Or maybe I can get rid of that one and pop in my crew. That's like one of the awesome things about the Ofra stuff. So let me find my spatula. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take this one out. Oh, it doesn't have it. I know this was a collaboration one. And then I'm gonna pop in, or pop out, I guess. This one, this is crew, and then I can pass this one on. I lo like, I love this system. I wish that all their stuff, like especially their little five pan palette, had that so you can move things around and whatnot, but look at that, love it. Okay, so keeping this, and then this I'm gonna pass on. I think this was like the most successful one. All right, I tried to fit everything in here. Um, these are the palettes that I'm keeping. I'm also making this, you know, whatever, and also gonna try this one out, but for all purposes, I'm keeping these separate. I'm going to be keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight palettes, and I, I think they're all so pretty. I'm really excited about that. And I'm getting rid of like nine slash 10 items here, most of those being bigger palettes. This is getting a ton of bulk out, also freeing me up to actually use these more and that's what I'm excited about. Plus I made some really good, I think decisions about keeping some of these unopened so that I can donate them. So I am excited about that. And let's finish this out with bronzers. We're like getting messier as we go. Like <laughs> first it was all prim and proper and put together, but now it is not. I don't know. These are all my bronzer, contour, creams, powders, all of it. This is everything I have. I'm gonna start with tackling the creams first and then we'll do powders. I think that will be the best. This is what I have going on. Like I've already mentioned, I will be keeping this cream one from Salt New York and I'm gonna be finishing it up. I'm so excited. So it's so cool that instead of decluttering, I'm gonna use and actually get rid of it that way. Exciting. Keeping that. This palette is new to me. I guess I should be swatching. I'm sorry. Let me try to swatch this out and I'll try to keep them all on my hand so you can see the differences. So that's the uh, Salt New York one. This is from the Cream Shop. I got this from BoxyCharm and I actually really like it. I've been using it quite a bit. It's more contour -y. You can tell like how cool it is compared to Salt New York one, but I am gonna keep this. I've actually really been enjoying it. New brand uh, and it's winning. It's a win for me. This thing, okay, oh my God. Another sale regret purchase, y'all. This is from Laura Mercier and this is something I was really excited for actually. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be like this beautiful bronzer. <sighs> It's, it, I think this would be work best, honestly, as like a highlighter type product, but it doesn't work as a highlighter on me, so that won't work. It's just weird, it's so much, it's like a good body product maybe. I don't know, I just, I had hopes and dreams for what this could be and how to make it work for me, but nah, no. So that's gonna go, that has to go. I have this Danessa Myricks, this is a new thing. This is the, I think it's like contour balm or something, and I got it in one, I believe this is the lightest shade, but you're gonna see how much warmer this is compared to the other contours. It's almost kind of looking olive here. Um, has like some more green undertones. I'm still working with this, trying to make this work for me. It's more pigmented than I expected. So yeah, I'm still making it work. I'm not sure if it's like the perfect product for me, honestly, though. Has nothing to do with formula, it's just color is, is a little bit hard to work with on me. But um, I'm gonna keep that for now. Keep trying to make it work and, and just get more thoughts until I'm like, Ready, ready. And then last for creams, these are from Ofra, and I actually really like one of these. I think it's Sunset. This one's really nice, so I'm gonna put them all here. Again, you can see that it's a little bit cooler, and I have been preferring that cooler tone. So this one I'm definitely keeping Sunset. This one is Sunrise, which I think would also work for me, but is more warm. This would almost be like a bronzer. I think I might keep that as like a cream bronzer, and then this one I think is just too dark. Um, this is called Dusk. Yeah, that one's just a little bit harder for me to personally work with. So I think I'm gonna pass that one on and keep these two. And so that's the cream pro, I mean, honestly, I don't feel like anything here I'm like so obsessed with. Probably the thing I like the most, I've really enjoyed the Ofra 
the sunset one. This I probably enjoyed the most. Like if I could only keep one, I'd probably keep this out of what's here. But I know I'm gonna be using that up soon. This I'm kind of making decisions on. I'm also gonna kind of make decisions on this. So if you have any good cream bronzers, like maybe something a little bit more warm than this cool thing, let me know. Let me know in the comments. But that's what I'm gonna keep for it now as I continue to see what I like. And then we have all of the bronzers, the powder ones. I know off the bat, I'm gonna be keeping this one from the balm. Look at that pan, y'all. That is so exciting. This is just a mini thing I got off of Ipsy. I'm really glad I tried it out. I think the color is really great. Again, I've kind of been liking the, the not so warm bronzers. So that I'm keeping and I wanna also use up hopefully. Another thing that I'm kind of hoping to use up or at least make a decision on is this butter bronzer. I've repressed this, this is in my project pan. So this is kind of what I'm working on. Now this is warmer, but it's also lighter. And so I feel like that combination works well. But yeah, I'm still kind of getting my thoughts I used to love this thing. I don't know if I'd repurchase at the moment, but keeping those two. I know I'm gonna get rid of this bronzer. This is the, what is this brand? Pretty vulgar, geez. Um, it's just a little too deep for me for what I like now. It's still workable and I actually don't mind the tone of this. It's just too deep and it's not easy. It's not an easy product to apply. I just have to be more careful on it or I'm going for like a super glammed up look and that's just not what I do. Like I just don't really do that. Um, it's not what I prefer. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm also getting rid of the Hula Light. For the longest time I was like, I'm gonna repress what's in here. And you're probably like, where's the product? Yeah, I know. There's like nothing left. It's yeah, okay. That's just one of those hard ones for me to actually like let myself get rid of it if I haven't all the way finished up. When I'm that close, it, it's, I don't know, it's really hard for me. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of anything else, honestly, here, but let's look through it. Maybe I'll surprise myself. This is from Ofra, the Samantha March. This I'm keeping as like my more glam bronzer. It's a little bit warmer, but not as dark as the one from, what's it called? And the formula is just so nice. So that I'm keeping, and I love that there's like a shimmery side and a matte side. So that is staying. I do enjoy this bronzer from Bare Minerals. This, I think it might be discontinued now. It's a nice, like, like it's light, which I like. Sometimes I feel like it makes me look burnt, but swatching it, I don't know why, because it's looking pretty cool toned there. But that I'm gonna keep going and like keep, I just need to like, I need to figure out my bronzer game, you know? And I don't wanna just get rid of stuff, so I need to like just sit, take a pointed note of like what's going on here. This is the newest bronzer to me from Kosas. This is the lightest one, and this is definitely more of like, I. it has like a redder undertone. Okay, here it looks like, wow, not gonna show up that much, but I feel like on my face, it feels more like how this one looks. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Definitely wanna give it more of a try though. I love the idea of this where it's like shimmery and not matte and just like more carefree, but my first couple like first impressions with this weren't as amazing as I hoped. So I'm gonna keep it, keep going, keep trying, and hopefully I can get into this one. This hourglass one I've had because I used to carry this in my kit. And so it's just kind of, when I disbanded that, I just kind of moved this over into my personal collection. Sometimes this is a little bit, I don't know, I was just feeling like it wasn't working either, but swatching it, it looks really great for me. It's very similar actually to the, Thing. So I don't wanna just get rid of this to do it. So I'm gonna keep that around. <laughs> All right, and then we have these two products. There's like powder everywhere. I keep this around every time because it's my only powder contour. And I, I mean, I honestly think I'm still going to do it. I don't really contour much, but if I wanted to, this is what I have to do that. And I don't find a reason to just get rid of it to do it when I have the like cream of the crop in my collection. So I'm still keeping that around. And then this is from Pure and this is the Bronzing Act bronzer. And it looks like nothing special, but I wanna give this again, more of a try. It's more similar to to the hula light honestly like that's the kind of vibes it is it's cooler but also light so you know you can kind of build it up and have a lot of control over it and i want to give this more of a try so that's <laughs> That wasn't very successful with the powders, but um, yeah, let's see what I'm keeping in this category. Okay, admittedly not as successful. I'm getting rid of four products and I'm keeping quite a few. Some of these are on the chopping block and as I use them more and, and get more solid opinions, I'll get rid of them. But I know I'm kind of in the market of like wanting a bronzer, but I'd love to maybe rediscover something, but I feel like I have tried, I don't know, we'll see. I can see this definitely being weeded out when you guys aren't here as I try them more, just because.
because you know like this will I like it in the long run this will it be used up will I like it in the long run hopefully that'll be gone soon this will be gone soon will I like this in the long run <laughs> same like me <maybe laughs> you know what I mean so this is the reality and of course I'd like to like use what I have and like explore and make sure that what I have isn't working before I go buy a new bronzer or try out a bunch of new bronzers so that's what I'm gonna try to do with this anyway I'm keeping 13 bronzer contour products powders creams all of it it's 13 products so let me count up what I got rid of all right, I have 27 different items here, some of them being palettes, you guys saw it all. So I'm very excited, more than anything, it's just like a lot of bulk, a lot of bulk that's distracting me from using stuff that I either wanna try and see if I like, or to just continue using and loving and being inspired by what you know is already there on top of you know sometimes i just got to do this with youtubes i'm trying new products i'm testing things letting you know what's good or new or whatever so yeah i'm excited a lot of this is it's still really great to be able to pass on and i also like making sure i'm doing timely declutters for that reason so yeah let's me show you what i have because I have all my creams in here. This is what I'm keeping. Lots of, I mean, this is like full of goodies. And then I was able to actually put all of my blushes and bronzers in here and they didn't all fit in this little thing before. This is not how I store them. I just brought them. I'm at my kitchen table, <laughs> if you didn't know. So um, yeah, this is what I'm keeping. And this has all of the single blushes, all of the palettes, all the bronzers, like it has everything in here besides cream blushes, but I'm very happy that it all fits in here. But that's it, I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have more parts of this coming like every day slash every other day, depending. So I hope you're down to watch some declutters. That's everything, stay tuned for the other parts. Bye guys.